a large number of cars flow through the area where State Road 436 meets Wymore Road and Douglas Avenue, just under 90,000 daily. The I-4 Ultimate Project will significantly change things here. The north-south lanes will be blocked forever, starting Friday night into early Saturday. We're pushing all that tra traffic one block to the west onto Westmont Loop. It's going to be a significant change, so much so new turn lanes are either in place or going in where Westmont meets Wymore on the south and Douglas on the north. Between Douglas and Wymore, roughly 30,000 cars a day use the intersection. And for those who want to go north and south, with this area out here now blocked off permanently starting Saturday morning, they're going to have to shift everything a block to the west and use Westmont. Because a steep learning curve is expected, the DOT won't even put workers in the area for a week. Because it's going to take a little bit of time for drivers to adjust to that change, we don't want to put workers out there in the middle of that intersection uh, and potentially have someone get hit. And for people driving 436 starting Saturday, the traffic lights at Wymore and Douglas will be constant green unless tripped by a pedestrian. And long term, meaning in two years or so after the bridge work is done, three signals will be removed on 436 replaced by one traffic light in the center of the bridge, which should remove a long-standing Central Florida bottleneck. In Aldemont Springs, Dave McDaniel, West Two News. The roads will be blocked off overnight Friday and the new traffic pattern in place at 6 a.m. Saturday.